Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching. So I am so excited today. My order from Thailand is here. Yay! I've been waiting for this for three weeks. It shipped almost exactly three weeks ago. So let's go ahead and open this. So I'm going to sit down for this one. And I've got my scissors. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm probably ruining the, these scissors by cutting this doll box with them. Here is my photosynthicary certificate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't care about that. All right, so let's see. Uh oh, I see some dead. There's some dead foliage. First one, Pachyclata variegata new moon. I hope that you're okay. It's very, very wrinkly and cold. Ooh, see how wrinkly it is? That means it's thirsty, but hopefully it's still good. Let's check on the roots. Hockey cloud a new moon. I hope you have a good set of roots in here. Please, 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 because I have been wanting you for so long. Come on, buddy. Oh. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I'm going to have to root this. super cold. I'll probably have to, I don't even know where to start. It's like barely, barely rooted. It, this leaf is like about to die and Hoyas typically do okay in a long-term shipment, but I don't know about this. Let's see. All right, let's just keep moving along. So I'm gonna put this here. It's so cold. Let's see if I get anything. Okay, so here, oh gosh, look at this mess. Here is my Dyskidia numeralia green. Yikes. Yikes. This package is wet, cold, and moldy. So I... Okay, so here is what the numer numeralia looks like. Every leaf is pretty much dead, frozen. <sighs> yeah. I don't know if there's anything salvageable in here at this moment. Maybe. Like, yeah. I 
I'm not even gonna open the root thing right here right now because I'm not ready to try to salvage this just yet. So I'm just gonna fold it back up and continue plugging away. Yikes. Okay, so we've got, oh gosh. So I got a Nemoralia variegated. So let's see how this one looks. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. There's some sort of seeds. I don't know what those are. I'll stick them there. I don't know what seed pack, what? <laughs> I don't know if this is the seed to this plant or what? We shall see. Yikes, you guys. This one looks uh, maybe a little bit better. I. It smells a little fishy. Yikes. I think these are seed pods from the from this plant. I'm not sure. Could be anything. I don't really know what yikes is all I'll say. Just yikes. Um, as for these potential seeds, I'm going to put them on a napkin like that. And I don't know. I, I have no words at this moment. Let's just continue on. Yikes. Alrighty. Okay, so... Is there, ooh, okay, so here is another Hoya Alba Marginata, right? Carry Eye Albo. This one looks okay, so let's check the roots. Here's the foliage, and let's check the roots. I'm not my spirit has definitely gone down since opening those wow my hopes and dreams have been shattered for these plants okay hopefully this has some good roots decent roots that i can just rehydrate and keep it moving Okay, there's something here. There's a little something. Um, there is a, I know I saw someone's video who showed like how to hydrate Hoya that you get like this. I'm gonna have to look that up for sure because this is just, wow. Okay, so I have another Hoya Sigil, so what is this called? Sigillatus, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't even know if this is the plant. Like, yeah, it and it's like completely dead I feel like three weeks is not a long time for Hoya like I don't even know at this moment Let's see. 
So it's completely dried, um, wilted. I don't know. I mean, even like down here towards the base is just dry, but I'll stick it in water. And let me see about the roots. here is still it's still moist there I'm gonna sit that there all right so that's one two three four five I have one more plant left and I'm not even like I'm just like scared it's gonna be like, messed up like the other one so here's the last one it's an anthurium clarinibarum oh, 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 oh. I'll put the names on the screen because you know I'm bad at pronouncing these um, names. Yikes. Yikes. Right. This one looks to be the most promising, sort of. So this is the Anthurium Clarivarn, how do you say it? Clarivarnivium. You guys know how to pronounce it, I'm sure. So here she is. It's nice and big. Um, there's a lot of damage probably due to cold um, and then just being in the shipping box for so long. But this is probably the best looking plant out of all of them. So my first, the first thing I'm gonna do with these is actually I'm going to um, warm them up, put them in water and just give them some like days to like rehydrate, to warm up, to adjust if at all possible. The Nemoralia, I am going to shake off all of the dead like foliage and put the vines into some moss and give them lots of humidity and see if anything comes of it. I definitely will be reaching back out to a Asian plant export to um, see if I can get either a refund for the two Nemoralia and um, this Hoya and we'll just see what happens from there. I mean this is, um, I've always, I've had a good experience with Asian plant exchange, export um, in the past so we'll see. But yeah, so for this, I'll definitely cut off the dead foliage and then um, try and rehydrate this guy and see what happens after that. So let's check out his roots. It's all about the roots. If they've got good root system, there's a lot that can be done. Okay, okay, so here are his roots. Not too bad, not too bad. Yikes. Yeah, so let me get closer to you guys. So here are the roots. He's definitely got some damaged foliage here that I'll cut off. And then he's very dehydrated. This spotting, I don't know what this is, if this is bacterial or something but it does not look right it could be just because it got too cold i'm not sure 
yeah, something is going on with that. But I think I can at least save the plant as a whole, but I might lose a bunch of foliage. Yeah. Yikes. So I just opened up everything from Asian Plant Exchange and I'm taking a little breather right now because I'm not mad. You know, ordering from overseas, like sometimes this happens and I, I ordered this in January and then um, told them to ship it like the second week or first week of March because we were having like crazy warm weather and we still had warm weather when my package shipped. During shipping, it wasn't just until it was in like this last four to five days where it just, the temperatures just got crazy. So I don't know if that's the issue. I mean, they weren't in the cold for too long before they got to me, but I don't know. Sometimes I just wonder like if they aren't picking the best quality prior to shipping or if they are soaking the plants, like freshly watering them before packaging them and shipping which I wouldn't do. I would kind of water like a week or two prior then ship. I don't know, but I am prepping everything that I need to rehydrate these babies and I'm doing a little bit of research to find out the best practices for rehydrating hy uh, Hoyas. I The last time I ordered from them, I did order Hoyas and I just put them straight in the water and they were fine, but I want to also like see if there are any other ways which i know there are i just cannot remember i want to say it was like someone brewed some tea and then soaked their hoyas in tea or some sugar water there was something so that's kind of where i'm at right now um let me flip the camera around and show you some stuff that on the table so here everything is here are the numeralias i don't know if i'm saying it right um it's hard to tell if the vines are okay because all of the foliage is pretty much damaged and then the variegated one I mean these are nice help like nice healthy helpings of this plant I just wish you know they would have arrived in better condition like some of these on the variegated variety they look really good some of the foliage and then you know but a lot of the foliage is you know falling off so i don't know and then this one's got a foliage that looks just rot rotten so i don't know how long they've had these just packaged and ready to go i don't know and then the hoya here just you know looking really dehydrated these ones i think will be the easiest and then this the ethereum clarivoyerium i don't know what it's called but <laughs> I know what it's called, I just don't know how to pronounce it. This one will probably be the next. And I actually brought this water for this to rehydrate. And then I've got some moistened moss that I'm gonna put some of these in. And then it just depends on what the roots look like here as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna shake off all of the dead leaves and then go from there yeah so my last order with asian plant exchange like it was good like my my plants were in the mail for two to three weeks and i was able to rehydrate them with water i feel like with this order and i may be wrong but like i feel like this is an extreme case of like plant death i feel like they were you know maybe on their way out before they were sent and I just don't know I just don't know like I, I'm not mad at anybody I'm just disappointed because I really have been wanting these plants and searching for them in the U.S. you get like two nodes of a numeralia 
for like 25 bucks like that's crazy and you see like the large size of the plants that asian sent like that's awesome like i would definitely order from them again and i actually had already placed another order with them prior to receiving this one and i have expectations that that order is going to arrive arrive okay but like you know it's just disappointing because this order was you know well over a hundred dollars and you know the plants look like this so i just do i just don't like to waste money so yeah i'm definitely reaching out to them this just to see if there's anything that they can do i'm gonna send them pictures of everything and that's one thing that's important when you get an, a plant order in the mail that you take pictures right away do an unboxing video even if you're not a youtuber or you know creator of any sort keep track of that kind of stuff take the pictures take the video so that you have you know i guess evidence to show if your plants do not arrive okay but yeah, definitely going to keep ordering from them. Um, they have a huge Hoya selection, so I definitely recommend them. I would recommend ordering like when your temperatures are mildish to warm. But yeah, so here's how I got them all set up. Um, hopefully we will have success. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated on how they're doing. But yeah, happy gardening, guys. Bye.